dermatologist, cosmetologist and hair transplant surgeon at Inside Derma Clinic and Hair Free Hair Growth Clinic, Kochi branch. Today I am going to talk about what all prerequisites for doing hair transplant or what are instructions that you have to keep it in mind before undergoing hair transplantation. So once you have decided that you are undergoing a hair transplantation surgery and your date is fixed, you have to take care that your scalp doesn't have a lot of dandruff or dryness. If needed, you can take help from a dermatologist to get it treated before the surgery. Next is, you have to take care that your skin on the scalp is not inflamed in a way that it is not red or it doesn't have pimple sort of uh, uh, thing on the scalp. So if at all you have, again that also has to be treated. Before surgery, we evaluate uh, everything thoroughly. Uh, we do all the blood investigations, even ECG, X-ray to evaluate if you have any systemic problems. So if at all you have existing problem, you have to take care that it is under control. You have to take proper medical fitness from the concerned faculty so that we, uh, we come to know that you are under completely controlled level of the disease and certain medications can be modified accordingly. Before surgery, again for all, you have to take care that you have to massage on your donor area. So on the back of your uh, scalp, that area is your donor area. So you have to keep massaging it with the coconut oil. And uh, you, have, you can even do that with a vibrator machine. So that increases the blood circulation and uh, that helps in getting a good harvesting during the surgery. You also have to take care that you are not taking alcohol and uh, smoking or any habits before surgery because invariably it affects the body and the hair also and the chances of bleed are high. If you have any bleeding disorder or coagulation disorder where you bleed a lot or your clotting problem is there, we have to uh, assess that well. So if you are on any medication uh, which can cause thinning of the blood or anything, you have to inform us and that has to be prior stopped. If for your baldness you are already taking minoxidil and you are continue using it and then you decided to undergo hair transplantation, so ideally minoxidil has to be stopped two weeks prior to the surgery. So beforehand if you are planning a surgery day, all these things are to be kept in mind. Before surgery, again very important thing is you should be mentally prepared for undergoing a cosmetic surgery called hair transplant. So if you have a friend, a family member, your spouse who can accompany you during surgery, your anxiety attacks or your, your uh, thought of uh, you know undergoing a surgery can be a lot way maintained properly. So have a bystander with you that is always good. Also have a little anti-anxiety anti medication before surgery like uh, Alprax, the small dose of Alprax or uh, as an anxiolytic that we can give. If you have high BP or you have high pulse rate accordingly we manage that. So uh, pre-surgery there are certain things that you have to follow and if you are known for something like you cannot keep the position because the first half of the surgery you have to lie down on your abdomen that is a prone position. So if you are not able to do that, if you are overweight or you cannot keep the neck position properly that you have to discuss with the doctor prior. If you have spondylitis issue or if you have migraine issues with the lie because there is a OT lie when you do the surgery so all those things you have to discuss prior to the surgery. If you are allergic to any component of anesthesia or if you are allergic to any component of medication, any drug or food or anything, that also you have to tell to the uh, doctor prior. Then before surgery, we advise you uh, uh, not to do a lot of vigorous cosmetic uh, procedure on your scalp. You do not, uh, do not handle your uh, hairs very roughly so that during surgery your hairs are uh, kept well and maintained well. Then uh, you need not trim your head uh, before surgery when you come here. You have to grow your hair to the maximum length you can and we trim the hair here accordingly. Uh, how much ever uh, length we want that way we trim it and while extraction we need a particular uh, uh, length of hair to be seen. So that way we trim the hair. So you need not trim the hair and come here. We actually do it in the clinic before surgery. Then uh, we advise for titanus oxide injection before surgery. So if you haven't taken the injection uh, six months prior, we advise you to take that. Now because it is a COVID era, again the COVID uh, antigen and RT-PCR test is mandatory before surgery. Then you may ask why all the investigations are done because before surgery we have to assess you uh, for your medical fitness first. Also, we have to assess you for your nutritional adequacy. If you have any uh, nutritional imbalance wherein you have deficiencies, we also have to rule out it. We also have to know your hormone profile or 
uh, any any thyroid change or anything for that sake so we have to evaluate that because it has effect on the hair fall and definitely after surgery it will have some effect so that we can give you the prognostic uh, way that how your surgery is going to be and what all things you have to take care so investigating is very important other than that taking care prior and after is also important abstain from all the habits that you have and take care of your scalp well so surgery is quite smooth enough if you understand the things properly and take care of uh, all the instructions very well thank you so much